Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So glad that you are here. Today's topic is you're holding on to the past and it's blocking your happiness. So let's jump right into this. So everybody wants a better life. You want more money in your life. You Maybe you want a better job or a more fulfilling career path or direction or something that's more fulfilling. You want a better relationship either with a partner if you're single or a better relationship with the current significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband, wife, partner, whatever that you have in your life. We all want these things to improve in our lives. You want better health. You want a fit, healthy body. You want to be free from disease or any physical ailments, right? We all want better lives in these major areas. The thing is, life, it does its thing. So everybody has stuff. You have past experiences of trauma, of abuse, of abandonment, of people saying and doing things to you, treating you poorly, all these different things. We all have so much stuff from the past and it's not going to stop. It's gonna keep coming and coming because this is the nature of life. It is the dualistic environment and reality that we live in of good and bad, of light and dark, you know, people who are kind and people who are mean. These things come up over and over and over. And what happens is when we don't clear out the past by letting go, you're still holding on to, you know, the memories and the repercussions of whatever that experience has, it blocks you from creating and having the life that you want. What I wrote down was past experiences, traumas, abuse, things people have said or done, they've all stuck to you in some way. We all have stuff unless you've learned to let it go. And we'll talk a lot about that, of course, per the topic of the video today. What we don't realize is that what we're holding on to is blocking us from creating and receiving what we want in our lives. So a couple of examples of this, right? You guys might be watching this, you're, you know, single and you know, you're looking for a husband or a wife or uh, you know, we'll use that example to start. There's many of them. You want this love of your life to come in. You want this ideal man or woman person to come into your life and you're, you know, you've been praying for it, you've been trying to do all these things, maybe even going to therapy, just working on yourself in order to improve you know, your situation, learn what you need to learn about yourself. You want this love of your life to come in, but you know what? You never forgave that ex-boyfriend, that ex-wife, that ex-husband for cheating on you. You never fully forgave them. You never let go of the pain, the trauma, the hurt of the past. And so since you're holding on to that, how can something new and beautiful come into your life, especially this amazing partner, come into your life when you're still holding on to that anger, that resentment, that grief, the depression, the sadness, all these emotions that that situation created within you, if you haven't let go of that, you're still holding on to that energy. So you want this new and beautiful love to come into your life, but you haven't tilled the soil. You haven't let go and created a beautiful environment for a new, better love that you deserve to come into your life and grow. How can you expect to build this beautiful relationship when you still have this uh, feeling, or again, we'll use the analogy of like plant and soil, when that soil is still kind of uh, icky, nasty, uh, it's got all this negative emotion and messed up stuff in the soil, how can you possibly build this new and beautiful relationship you have in your mind and your heart that you desire when all that stuff is still there? So we've got to learn to let go of all that in order to allow the blessings to come in our lives. You wanna have this amazing, fulfilling business in which you're making more money than you ever have, you're helping more people than you ever have, but you didn't let go of that time that your business partner that you were growing uh, stole your ideas, took everything and left you in the dust. You haven't let go of that, that's still hurting. So how can you possibly create this new and beautiful business when you don't trust people anymore because you got betrayed by an old business partner? Same thing, that soil is still messed up. You're still holding on to a lot of that emotion, a lot of that feeling in your body, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. You're still holding on to it. You've got to let go. So the purpose of the, today's video, the intention is to talk about how, you know, to one, bring awareness as to why maybe some of these blessings aren't coming into our lives or we feel like we're not moving forward even though we're doing all the things. 
It's to talk about what it means to let go and how to let go in certain ways and how we hold on to things and how it blocks our blessings. You want a, a new, you want a fit body. You want to look great in a bikini. You want to look, go to the beach, guys, and look great. You know, you got some nice fitted shorts on, man. Take your shirt off in the sun. You want to look great. You want to feel good with your body, you know, but you guys have not let go of that uh, negative belief that's running your family that, oh, my family's just big. This just runs in our genetics. So that's just the way that it is. That's something you're holding on to. You're holding on to a belief that's not yours, but that's been programmed into your mind. It's preventing you from being disease free. It's preventing you from, you know, oh, this runs in my family. So I'm just going to have it. No, you don't. It's a choice. It's a lifestyle choice. As a matter of fact, that's what epigenetics are. The new science of how your thoughts uh, create activation in your genes and it's based on your environment and really what we think. But I'm not going to get off subject. You kind of get the point. You want to have this body, but you haven't let go of the past belief that, oh, it's genetics. It's just the way that it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. It has to do with the way that you eat, the way that you sleep, how you live every day that's creating that body that you have and there's a belief system that you haven't let go of yet. So we have to let go of these things in the past, our experiences, and it's usually, it always has to do with people, man. That's why we're here on earth school, as I like to call it, to learn these lessons and transcend these karma so that we can heal and create the life that we love. And then as a light worker, because you're watching this video, you are a healer. You're very different from most people you've ever been around. That is our job, is to heal this stuff and then model that healing in order to be a light and example for other people that it's possible. Dang, I remember her, she was big her whole life. That's crazy she looks like that now. Dang, what does she do? I'm gonna reach out to her, that's nuts. Oh my God, dude, this guy was a drug addict. He was like, all these abusive relationships. I remember he was like in jail and all this. Look at him now. That's what the work is. That's what we're here for, guys. That's what light worker is. We're here to put the work in to show people the light that there's a different way to light up the dark places, to show them a different way to, to shift perspectives, to move them forward. That's what we're here for. Only when we've let go in our hearts, our minds, our bodies and souls, can we have room and fertile ground for our new blessings to come in. If you're still holding on to the past, these things in different areas of your life, you're, you still have that energy that's blocking it. So you want that love to come in your life, but your grief, your anger, you know, the resentment is right here. So every time you meet someone, boom, you haven't let go. You just push them away and go, oh man, red flag. That's just like my ex. Get out of here because you haven't let go. But the reality is you haven't let go, so you're just looking for that because you're still holding on to that pain. That's what self-sabotage is. Now you're trying to create that cycle. You're the one manifesting that this is the person just like your ex. So ladies, if you're one of those women that's like, God, I just keep attracting assholes that are all egotistical, they just use me for sex, they push me aside, you're the one allowing that into your life and creating that same cycle because you haven't healed from what you need to heal. Is it an issue with your father? Were you abused when you're young? Do you need to speak to a therapist? Do you need to work on yourself? That's why these things go. We repeat the same cycles at earth school until we learn the lessons. Once we learn the lessons and we heal and let go of the past, then something new and different can come in. But until we heal what we're holding on to, we repeat the same cycles in life over and over until we learn. And it involves learning, healing, forgiving, letting go of that energy. And we'll talk about letting go because I know already there's people watching this that are like, I can never forgive him. I can never forgive her. You don't know what they did to me. How can I, I'm letting him off the hook and we'll get to that in a second. Trust me, I got you. I understand where you're coming from. And I'll talk about my experiences and, and how that was blocking me in a lot of areas of my life. So we've got to understand once again, only when we've let go in our hearts, our minds, and our bodies, and our souls, can we have room and fertile ground for our new blessings to come in. We've got to let go of this stuff. It hits us on a lot of dimensions. It's in our bodies. There's a book called The Body Keeps Score. It's about how we store trauma physically in our bodies, in our cells. So, you know, if you're a man or a woman, you know, unfortunately, it's mostly women who get sexually abused. That sexual abuse is in your body and until you learn how to release that trauma and abuse from your body, unfortunately on a subconscious level, you're gonna be attracting in a lot of people with that same type of energy. 
or you were emotionally abused or dudes you're you're some dude that always invites in this narcissistic woman that takes you for all your worth uses you like a uh like you know uh, uses you like a doormat you know has you buy her all this stuff and then pushes you aside and cheats on you or something like that that stuff's in your body man it's in your mind it's in your heart it's in your body and so until you heal that and let it go you're going to con continue to attract uh, this low vibrational narcissistic woman who comes in and just wants to use you for your money or whatever resources or status or whatever you got you're repeating the same cycle we got to let that go so the body keeps score we have to release the trauma in our body how do we do that there's a lot of ways we can do it and I feel like that probably provide needs an own video in and of itself at least from my perspective but in the meantime if that really resonates with you I would say go seek out someone like a somatic breathwork expert or a trauma relief therapist, someone who uh, specializes in um, you know, sexual abuse or whatever your trauma is, a grief counselor, you know, you you uh you know, you lost a child even maybe something like that. And that experience of, you know, whatever traumatic losing your your son or your daughter, god, you know, I'm so sorry, love and love so much to you, man. Uh, you know, sis, I'm I, you know, whoever you are, I'm speaking to that grief, unless you've let go of that in your heart and you've really healed it, man, that stuff weighs heavy and affects all areas of our life, but they're all interconnected. We hold on to these things in our minds. We have to let go of these things in our minds. Specifically, the beliefs. That's what happens mainly in our minds when we hold on to a trauma from the past. So, they're crappy beliefs. An example. Uh, someone stole money from you. So now you can't trust people in business because someone stole from you. You you know, you were blown up with your business partner, this business you had, you know, you opened a, a candle business with what you thought was your best friend and then she ended up stealing all your ideas and your business left you for broke, put everything in her name somehow or whatever and you got screwed. So now you're scared to start a business or now you're scared to handle a lot of money because you don't want a lot of money uh, because you'll get betrayed and that's the belief that you formed in your mind and you holding on to that and now all of a sudden you're afraid to grow and have business or maybe you're super broke and it's so hard for you to struggle and earn money because you have this subconscious belief that you don't trust money anymore you don't trust people so if you're still holding on to that that's why money isn't coming into your life because you have a fear around money now because of that experience this is all about letting go I know this is an intense subject. It, the funny thing is, I, I again, I came into the coffee shop. I was just writing my own thoughts, like thinking about you know my own stuff right now, getting my mind clear. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, man, I don't even feel like writing a video. I don't even know what I'm gonna write on today. And I just going through my own process, clearing my own energy out. I started to get all this stuff come to me because I got plenty of own experiences. Right, that's the only way that you know that I'm speaking to you and why it's resonating with you because I got my own stuff. The funny thing is, we all think we're so different from one another. But I guarantee, goddamn T, guarantee, dude, you talk to any random stranger on the street that you think you're so different from, we're all going through the same stuff. We're just going through it in our own ways. It looks different. But he got cheated on. So did she. You guys have so much similarity. Y'all, man, I remember I was dating them. They showed me this. I thought they were like this, blah, blah, blah. And then, boom, you got blindsided. I've struggled with health and fitness my whole life. I guarantee you, you think you're the only one? Uh-uh. We all go through the same stuff. So I'm just speaking to you from my experience because I'm no different than you. You're no different than me. I'm here to learn just like you are, man. We're all going through the same stuff. But here's what I have learned. I've worked hard on this myself to learn to let go and, and make sense of all this stuff, really, because, uh, again, because I've had such crappy experiences in my past um, that I've, I, I just couldn't take the pain anymore. And I'm like, God, man, why am I so different? Why are literally all the friends I grew up with like flourishing and have like two and three houses and making a ton of money and I'm sitting here and like no matter what I do, I can't get ahead financially or even close to what they're doing. I don't understand. These are some of my best friends. We're not that different. I know I'm just as capable of them. They know that too. Why? Am I, so I just studied myself to try to figure out why I'm different. You've always been different, but it's for a very specific person, uh, uh, reason and purpose. You are a light worker. You're a star seed, dude. You're here to show the way. And your circumstances have come to you. You manifested them. You honestly chose them because before we come into this life, into this earth, to this existence right now, at this point in time, you chose all this stuff. Your soul did. I know, it's crazy, right? Because you think, like, there's no way, man. Why would I ever choose any of this stuff? I know. 
but trust me when and when you reach that point you'll be like oh my gosh that's crazy <laughs> and you start to view things in a different light uh so i'm getting off topic so in our minds the beliefs form and these experiences form negative beliefs we have to learn to first be aware of those beliefs and let go and reprogram those beliefs man i'm terrible with money every time i get money i remember one time i blew up in business and i just blew it all so i don't trust myself with money you got to get over that you got to heal that and then watch all the money start to come into your life you've got to reprogram your beliefs in our hearts <clears throat> so this is the big one at least from what i've learned through my experience again me personally right it's the biggest pain and what's most difficult and most challenging for most people is that we hold on to this stuff in our hearts. Heartbreak, heartbreak is a real thing. So with relationships, with money, it's heartbreak because there's nothing, man, we've all experienced heartbreak in our lives in different ways. Uh, most painful heartbreaks are usually love with another human being where you open your heart up and you're vulnerable. When you get screwed, you get betrayed, you get mistreated you get cheated on, whatever it is, and you, it is like the worst pain in the world because your heart was so open, so loving, and so joyful, and you got screwed for it. So we hold on to this pain in our heart, and it prevents us, oh my God, it literally, it cuts us off from everything, man. It cuts us off from uh, money, from success, from happiness. It cuts us off from spirituality. It cuts us off from, ha cuts us off from having love in our lives because when our heart is shut down, you know, you've, you've heard this before. Love is the most powerful force in the universe, and it is, but if your heart is not open, then we can't experience love in any part of our lives. So love, we, that's what we hold on to the most, the pain in our hearts, and that's what's most challenging. So the mechanism to forgive or to let go in our hearts is to forgive. And I know this is a very charged subject probably for you because you're watching this, and the reason I know that is because forgiveness for me was so hard to learn and practice and still is at times. Um, man, it is the hardest, but what I'll say, and you've heard me say this in my videos, if you watch a couple of them, guys, all this stuff, it is learned, it's practiced. These are behaviors, these are skills. Forgiveness isn't something you do one day and it's done. Forgiveness is a skill that you practice every day. So it will take you a long time. And so I already know what's coming up in your mind. I'll never forgive that person. You don't know what they did to me. How could I ever forgive them? You don't know how that affected my entire life. I could never forgive them. I'll never forget. Oh, I'll never forgive them. Uh-uh. Because you have it in your mind. There's two things with that. First of all, what you have to understand is that by you not forgiving them, they're fine. They've moved on with their life. They got a whole other thing they're dealing with. And trust me, they've got their own karma because of that. But the forgiveness part of it, you don't want to let go because you think forgiveness is letting them off the hook forgetting what happened like it never happened brushing other that's not what forgiveness is man sis that's not what forgiveness is what i've learned is that forgiveness is forgiving myself for allowing myself to be treated that way understanding that i did the best that i could i was a child at the time or whatever happened in your situation Forgiveness is not letting them off the hook. Forgiveness is not forgetting what happened. That's not what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is freeing yourself from the past so that you're not carrying around that baggage anymore and you have room for these blessings. It has nothing to do with them. You're probably never gonna get the closure you want for them to apologize and say, I can't believe what I did wrong. I am so sorry. If you get that, holy crap, man then that's someone that you really got to talk to because that's someone who has awakened. And wow, that is a special thing. But you are probably never going to hear the words you need to say from the people that you need to hear it from. Forgiveness is a gift to yourself. It's giving, it's forgiving to yourself. You're giving yourself permission to move on so that you can live the life that you deserve and have all the blessings come into your life that you want, that you know you, you deserve. Forgiveness is letting go of the past. It's giving yourself closure. It's not letting them off the hook. It's not, uh, you know, forgetting what happened. You can't forget, even if you wanted to, it's a part of you in so many ways now. It's being at peace with the past and putting down all the negative emotions so that you can be free of those bags. 
That's what forgiveness is. And it's a practice. And I'll share my story about forgiveness in a minute. But uh, one thing, oh yeah, there's a quote from Buddha that I wanted to share from share with you guys. And this one always resonated with me. You know, uh, and it's about anger, but it felt like it really related to forgiveness. Hold it, uh, anger is like holding on to a hot stone with the intent to throw it at someone else. You're the one that gets burned. That's what anger is. That's what. That's why you got to forgive. They're not the ones carrying around all this heavy emotional baggage, all this anger and resentment, all this grief and sadness. Yeah, they screwed up, and you wish they would say, "I am so sorry." I screwed up. I cannot believe what I did to you. I mean, I can't even put into words how sorry I am. You're not going to get that most likely. Forgiveness is an inside job. Again, this is about you. It's about you letting go of the past in your heart and being at peace with it so you can move on and build the life that you want. You're probably not going to get closure from another person. If, again, if you do, that's amazing. But in my experience, a lot of the time it doesn't happen because they're just not equipped like that. They're not there. You know, if they are, man, again, whew, what a blessing. But this has not been my experience, you know, um, for so long, man, I guess you guys got to know my like background and story and stuff, but, um, I just want to make sure I get to the point. So long time, uh, I had a really wild childhood, really rough childhood growing up. And for so long, I blamed my sister for all the chaos she caused in my life as a young boy and man from like, whatever, you know, one year old to like, probably, I think like, it's all I was like 14, I think 14, 15 when she moved out. And then I remember I didn't speak to her for nine years of my life. And it was the last day of, I was in college and I went out and got hammered and I got back and I was in there, I was living with three other guys, my buddies, roommates and stuff. And we had gotten hammered. But for whatever reason, I called her on the phone and oh my God, I just let her have it for like 30 minutes. You ruined my life. You're, I mean, dude, I trust me. I, you know, I have a, uh, I feel that I have a, a skill of power with words and then you're hearing it in a positive aspect, just from rem just remember what someone has on one side they have on the other. So I have that skill of like, and I used to be a bully growing up because I was so angry and I would just tear people down. I would cut people so deep with my words like a sword with corrosive acid on it straight to their heart and just let it fester for the rest of their lives. Yeah, I know, right? Imagine that, that's what I'm saying. I have a skill with words and I would cut people like that. I would pick fights with adults even. Like it was gnarly. So I was so angry. I just, I didn't speak to her for nine years after that. And then I did this course, this emotional intelligence course and was allowed a lot of catharsis and healing. But then, you know, what happened was I forgave my sister, but I didn't really, I forgave my sister, but I also just transferred the anger onto my dad. And I go, oh, you know what's coming light? The realization, you didn't do anything wrong to me, sis. You know what it was? Our dad was a terrible dad. It was his responsibility. He couldn't protect us. So then I was all angry at my dad for so long, you know, and holding all that anger onto him. And was like, you know, such a dick to him for so long. It took me, take, take me my whole life. It's only in the past like year or two I've really like healed a lot of this stuff, man. This stuff takes time and practice. That's what I'm saying is over and over. And then for so long, I didn't, you know, I held all this anger towards him until literally just recently up until a month ago, I really got it. I mean, I had been healing in stages. That's the thing. This stuff takes uh, time and stages. And to the point now where like, I get it, man. He was doing the best he could with the cards that he had. He really did, and he really is a good man at heart. He never gave up on me, no matter how much of a dick and a troublemaker and all this stuff I was. So anyways, I forgave him and forgave myself for treating him like that. So this stuff is heavy, man. There's a lot of stuff. I'm like sitting here and I'm like, you know, emotions, all these other thoughts coming up, but it's the point is to bring it back down. Forgiveness is for you. And the most important thing is, yes, it lives in your body and it, uh, in the form of maybe even like diseases or conditions you have, but once you forgive and let go in your body, watch what happens. Some of these physical conditions might go away that you have. It holds on into your mind until you become aware of these false beliefs that those negative experiences created, but most importantly, it lives in your heart. And your heart, you shut down your heart to everybody and everything around you, and most importantly, yourself. And so you hold yourself hostage and captive in this pain and this resentment because you haven't learned to forgive. But it's not about letting them off the hook or forgetting what happened. It's about learning the lessons and being at peace with it in your heart. I feel like forgiveness is its own video. It probably, and it is, I know it is, but in the context of letting go and why maybe woo, your happiness is being blocked, you gotta forgive. It's tough. This stuff is tough, man. 
This is not for the weak hearted. That's why you're a light worker. That's why they call it work. We're doing the work. Uh, no. So here's what, I'll, what I wrote down. The big one, forgive. People don't want to forgive because they see it as letting them off the hook or forgetting what happened. No. Forgiveness is for you to let go. You won't get closure from the other party most likely. Forgiveness is an inside job. You have to create the closure within yourself. It's not to let them off the hook or forget. It's to set yourself free from the past so you can create the life you want. You can put down all these heavy bags. What I'll say also, the analogy that kept popping in my head, I didn't write this one down, but like imagine you know, you're know you walking through the airport and you have to get through your terminal. But along the way, every little stop or every store, you pick up an extra suitcase, you pick up an extra bag, you pick up an extra bag. By the time you get to your terminal, maybe you didn't even make it over there. You can't get to where you wanna go because you literally got 30 extra bags that you're hauling behind you on a chain. Forgiveness is letting go of each one of those bags so you're lighter and you can move forward towards what you want, towards the destination. Holding on to anger, yeah, I read, uh, gave you guys that quote by Buddha. Um, there's an awesome uh, meditation on Spotify. It's by Donna DeCruz, and it was in one of her guided meditations. I do a lot of different meditations, but this one's always stuck with me, and it's called Letting Go. And what she says in there is by letting go, it all gets done. So it's called Letting Go. Donna DeCruz, I believe, is her name. It's an amazing one. For whatever reason, that I don't listen to a lot of guided ones, but that one uh, got me. So maybe give that a listen to start, just letting go. Everything is a practice. Someone was mean, let it go. What will it take for you to let this go? What is it you need that you're looking for that's having you still hold on to this? What would it take for you to let go? What do you need? You need an apology from that other person to admit their wrongdoings? You want revenge? You wanna, you wanna go and, you know what I mean? A bunch of negative stuff? A lot of that stuff's not practical. And in my experience, the people that, you know, hurt you in the past may, may not be aware of it they may not take responsibility for it or they may be aware of it and they really don't care. Either way, again, you're probably not gonna get what you want. So you have to ask yourself, what is it that I need to give myself? How do I create closure for myself so that I can let go and feel lighter and more free and go towards what I want? What do I need to feel closure? What do I need to let go? What is it I'm looking for? Why am I still holding on? You may need to talk to a professional um, I've actually never done talk therapy or I did it. I've done it shortly for once and I'll be real with you guys. It was interesting. Like the couple of therapists that I went to, I've studied this stuff in my, by study this stuff, I mean myself literally my entire life because of my childhood. Like, you know, that's why I got a degree in psychology. I'm like, why am I all screwed up? Why am I so different? And when I went to therapists personally, they were like, they like, didn't know what to do with me anyways. But, um, so I shared that about my, the story about my dad and my sister. <clears throat> what you also want to understand on a spiritual plane, on a spiritual perspective, <clears throat> is this is karma. These are your karmas. Whatever you're experiencing in this lifetime, these pains, these experiences, dude, you, you know, sis, what, you guys, you've experienced the same line of pain for thousands of lifetimes. You're a light worker. You've been here many times. You've done this. <clears throat> many times you've repeated these same cycles many times in this lifetime and lifetimes in the past this is karma so to ascend to a higher level of being you've got to clear these karmas we clear these karmas by letting go by healing by forgiving you are like you're a site you're what's called a cycle breaker all the trauma in your family line this has been passed down for countless generations in your family karmic line. And you are the cycle breaker. You are the curse breaker. You are the one now who is manifested at this point in time in 2024, in what is it, May 14th, today in this lifetime to break your family's traumas. This is what you signed up for. This is what the planet is moving into, the ascension from 3D to 5D. You're here as a light worker. You were chosen. And you also chose and agreed to do this for your family karmic line. This is what your soul agreed to do. This is the work. You're not a victim, man. You're so much more powerful. And if that line resonated with you, oh man, you got so much to discover in yourself. I'm excited for you. This is 
site this is trauma this is family karma this is individual and family karma you're here to break you've had a line of alcoholics every person in your family's been an alcoholic you know for the past 200 years you're here to break that you're here to break that you're in a line of uh, womanizers who uh, men who have like you know seven different kids from all these different women you're here to break that bro you are you have a family you know sis you have a family that has always been overweight and insecure with their body and they just say screw it and just eat a bunch of junk food and like whatever we're all diabetics and shit and have heart attacks that's what it is no you're here to break that this is family karma and you again you know little by little i'll start easing more into the more of the i guess advanced or esoteric spiritual concepts we live in a quantum universe this point in time is every other point in time th that'll ever happen in the future and in the past converging at this one moment throughout all dimensions in the infinite parallel universes and realities so you have ascended here on this time or in incarnated on this time to clear the karma throughout all dimensions and all timelines from all future past and present and you do that now by forgiving by being different by healing these things part of letting go not just of your past traumas and pains might require you to let go of people in your life it might require you to let go of a job it's going to require you to let go of old habits it's going to require you to let go of fear of the unknown as you let go of the past and move into something into the future that you've never experienced before because this is all new because you're letting go that part in and of itself also requires another video about letting go of people now again please don't take it out of context because i know i'm on the internet now and honestly again i just want to express gratitude for you guys i've started making content again i've just gotten such an amazing positive response overall from so many people and i'm just so grateful for you for your support really and I, i'm just more and more happy that these messages are resonating and hopefully having the impact that i set the intention for them to have so thank you so much um bringing that back to my point was you know i'm on the internet and i'm blasting this stuff my face is out here like it's who i am man not only am i blasting my face it's my heart it's my mind it's my soul like what i've been through so you know now that i'm on the internet right people can't wait to make me wrong or attack me or like take things out of context so again as i say you might need to let go of people in your life this doesn't mean like you cut them off and never talk to them again talk to them again or it might if someone's like some crazy narcissistic type family member or not, man, you might need to cut them off. I have. And oh my gosh, when you do that, woo, how much better your life gets. Because again, you don't want these negative entities, this negative energy attached to your being. It's a privilege to be around you, not because you're better than anyone else, but because you're doing the work and your energy needs to be protected because you're doing the work. So you might need to let go of people. You might need to let go of jobs. You might need to let go of where you're living. Have you been thinking about moving somewhere else for a while? You might need to go to a new location and let go of what's familiar in order to create something new. Let go of the past, move into the future. Two quotes for the day. Sometimes letting things go is an act of far greater power than hanging on. Eckhart Tolle. This one was unknown, but holy crap, it really hit home with me and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Feel everything, let go of everything, or you will be held captive by everything. So man, it makes me wanna talk about, you know, letting, uh, about feeling everything and about how that's part of the process to letting go. You have to allow yourself to feel the sadness, the grief. I know that's hard, especially if it was some gnarly trauma and you literally have had some atrocity that you experienced as some kid. You don't need to go and relive that again. That's why I said you need to go talk to a professional. That's not that's not my area of expertise. I'm not gonna touch that. But um, yeah, you do. For me, I've had to feel everything. I forgave my dad so many times in my head, understanding he did the best he could. This was the situation as he, he was in. He really did never give up on me. I know he loves me in my head, but for some reason in my heart and my body, I hadn't let go too. So I had to allow myself to feel some of that grief and anger of the things that I didn't get to experience as a kid because of the way that I grew up. But anyways, that's it for today, guys. We're going to end with our reading. Oracle card. Tap three times to clear the energy we ask to receive the purest and most divine truth for your highest good, my highest good, and the highest good of the collective. Inhale. 
always look neck crack after that. Message for today. We are at, ooh. That's the one with the chills, man. You. Always with the chills. Today we got the eight of Raphael. Of course. So first eight of Raphael. I always say look at the picture first. What image, you know, or what sticks out to you in this image? What thoughts, feelings, emotions, memories from the past are bringing this up? Something to reflect on. That's your soul trying to speak to you. It's a little kitty cat. What does that mean to you? Is it the little treasure chest or is it the bridge about to cross over into something new? Take note, uh, message of today. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. I'll make this stuff up, guys. I'm right here with you live doing this stuff. There's something better waiting for you. You just got to let go of the past. Eight of Raphael extended message there's something better waiting for you the ways in which you've evolved haven't have convinced you that there must be more to life and there is the inward search for answers is rewarded at this time forgiveness is an inner job inside job it's time to leave the past behind and embrace a brand new you i don't make this stuff up guys the choice is not forced upon you but is of your making your past experiences have been very important in helping you understand who you are. Be grateful for what you've learned and build upon it. A relocation or change in your job or relationships is possible at this time. Additional meanings of this card, a journey, a spiritual quest, doing what you know is right for you, a change of interest. I don't make this stuff up, man. I'm just pulling the card, but we are divinely guided and in complete alignment. That's why these messages are coming up. Something better is waiting for you, my friend. You got to let go of the past, though. You got to heal. You got to reprogram the beliefs. You got to let go in your body. Most importantly, you got to forgive and let go in your heart. Keep in mind what it is that you want and know that you're deserving and worthy of having that life. But it is hard mother work. It's hard work, man. I'm not going to lie to you. It's taking me my whole life to get to this point, And I'm just getting started, man. I'm just getting started. I don't, you know, I'm no different than you. I still got all these things in my life. Life is lifing, as my friend uh, Angela says. Life is lifing, man. Never stops. So that's what I got for you guys today. I love you so much. Again, I appreciate your support. Please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. If you're someone who's like, oh, man, the guy talking about crystals and tarot cards, that's cool, whatever. If you, you know, whatever, you, you watch this stuff, you get triggered, cool, whatever. Leave it. It's all good. Just move on to the next video. Go watch someone else. It's all good. Peace and love. I'll see you next time.